Love it, man. Wish you the best. Congrats. Thank you so much. The next question is Justin Felder. Go ahead, please. Hey, Anthony, congratulations. I'm from uh, Fox 5 in Atlanta. What does it mean to represent Atlanta as the number one pick and also give the University of Georgia their first ever number one overall pick? I mean, it's a blessing come true. It's a blessing come true, man, to be from Atlanta, be the number one pick, and then go to Georgia and be Georgia's first number one pick and be uh, Coach Crane's number one first number one pick. So everything is just a blessing, man. And like I say, it's more to come, and I'm just ready to get to work. Chris Hine, you have the next question. Please go ahead, Chris. Anthony, I'm uh, wondering uh, what conversations like uh, with Gerson Roses, Ryan Saunders, and what do you know about the, the Timberwolves organization uh, and, and Minnesota in general as you get ready to come up here? Uh, I just know they, they like to compete. They love to compete. Uh, the first time that they met with me, they had everything mapped out. They had a game plan. They had everything for me. Like They was like, listen, we, we wanted to bring everything, wanted to be ready. And I know they love to compete. They love players who are going to come and compete. They love players who are going to leave it all on the court. And they just they, they want you to come in there and just be ready. So I feel like I'm one of those players, and, and I'm just ready to work. Next question is from Leo Sun. Go ahead, Leo. How's it going, Anthony? Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, so I have a question for you. Um, right now, there are some rumors going around that uh, Ricky Rubio may be traded to the Timberwolves. And so that gives um, Ricky Rubio, D'Angelo Russell, and you as a third guard. So how comfortable would you feel playing as, you know, a small forward or uh, rotating around those guard roles? Uh, it doesn't really matter to me uh, because uh, a lot of people don't know I'm, I'm, I'm 6'5", I'm 230. So, I mean... I feel like I can guard the one through three. The, it doesn't really matter. And I, I'm strong enough to, you know, not be pushed around. So I'm, I feel like I'm okay. We'll take two more questions here. The first one from DNA Sports Talk. Please go ahead. First of all, congratulations, man. Uh, being Appreciate from, that. But no problem. When you were doing your workouts, and it took a lot longer than normal since there wasn't a – the summer for it, what did you specifically work on to improve to get you to be the number one pick? Um, that's a great question, man. Uh, a lot of people don't ask that. Um, I feel like the most important thing that I changed uh, during my workouts was I was never able to just uh, focus on basketball. I feel like uh, once quarantine hit, once I declared for the draft, I was just locked in on just basketball, just get 1% better every day. And I feel like the main thing that I changed was just being able to just hit consistent shots, like catch and shoot, not off the dribble. Everyone always uh, is in awe of what I can do off the dribble. But with the questions was my catching and shooting ability, which I feel like I, I took that to a, another level, but not as far as it can go a tremendous. Best wishes to you. Thank you. Thank you. The final question we have uh, for you will be from DNA Sports Talk, or excuse me, from the three-point uh, conversion. Go ahead, please. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on you. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. What's going on, Anthony? Um, first of all, congrats, man. I'm also from Atlanta, so know a lot about you, of course. But I want to ask you, when you went through this quarantine, you talked about it. Did you feel like that was an, I shouldn't say an advantage, but kind of like a, you know, blessing in a sense, just the fact that you got to work on your game? Yeah, most definitely. A lot of people look at it as uh, it took too long to get drafted. I look at it as it, it gave me just enough time to get where I needed to be right before I needed to report to where I was going. So therefore, like just me getting in better shape every day, me being able to shoot the ball 1% better every day, me being able to do a lot of things 1% better every day, just it, it changed just because of how, how, how long of a time period I had. So I feel like I, I grew a lot. And then quickly, uh, quick follow-up, knowing that you're going to Minnesota, you're going to this young team, to be in this young nucleus, knowing you all have a lot of talent, how much fun do you think it's going to be? And just what are your thoughts in particular? Uh, this is going to be fun, man. I feel like uh, we got a lot of uh, – we got Malik Beasley. We got Josh Takogi. We got uh, Jerry Culver. We got D'Angelo Russell. We got Carl Anthony Towns. 
they say possibly uh, Ricky Rubio is going to get traded to us. So, I mean, it, it, it's going to be it's gonna be fun. I mean, we got a lot of athletes. We got a lot of scores. We got a lot of ball players, man. It's nothing more you can ask for. Anthony, thank you very much for your participation. Congratulations on the number one pick and have a great evening. Thank you so much for having me. Stay blessed. Be safe.